Hi everyone, my name is Charles Hughes and I'm here to introduce Chu of Let's Go. Let's go! What's up everybody? What's going on? How y'all doing today? I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Got my microphone, I got my microphone right here. Oops, right there, there you go. No, right here, right here. Boom. I'm telling y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so hyped. Um, things have just been going so well for me. God has blessed me and kept me in the land of the living. Um, but I want to let everybody know. Check this out. Y'all remember my girl Jasmine? Bam! Jasmine. Beautiful Jasmine. Yes. Lovely Jasmine. Her company, Hart Hartley Road Customs. Hartley Road Customs. She got a sale going on up to today. Check this out. Come on now. She got her promotions going on. Please, everybody, let's support Jasmine. Please, Harley Road Customs. And for you guys, she made my shirt. She made my shirt. You see the, the her ad, email address going across the bottom? I'm going to let it roll for a little bit. Harley Road Customs. Harley Road Customs. Her name is Jasmine Payton. Jasmine Payton. I'm letting everybody see. She made my shirts. I need everybody to go support Jasmine. Come on now. That's my girl. I need everybody to go support her. She made this. Then I'm telling y'all, she, she got a brother right. Uh, got my let's go mask, baby. Let's go. She got the mask and everything. I'm rocking and rolling. Uh, uh. Then she did my shirt. Look at that. Y'all look at the shirt. Look at the shirt. Look at it. Look at it. Let's go. I'm trying to tell you. Two Man Productions is on the move. Let's go is on the move. And if you want to have your own online show on YouTube or Facebook, hit me up. That's what we're doing. We can do a live show for you, or you can record your show, and we'll edit it, and then you can have it to upload it when you want to do it. So you can either do a live show like I'm doing now and got everything going, or we can do an edited uh, pre taped show. That's what we can do. And let me tell you this. Two weeks, my studio will be up and running. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Holly, holly, holly. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ah. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Got excited. But in two weeks, the show will be up, the studio will be up and running. What you mean, Chew? I will have a studio that will have three rooms where I can do different things so we can have multiple shows going on at the same time. Your boy ain't playing. Next year is my time. Next year is my time. Who else's time is it now? My brother, Matthew Long Jr. Matthew Long Jr. I need y'all to support my boy, Matt. Why you say I need to support him? That's why. Look at him. Smooth Devin there. Christmas romance. I should give y'all a taste of his music right now, but he ain't on. And, you know, I just, y'all just need to go cop that music. I'm trying to tell you. It is an awesome song. It is really awesome. I'm telling you. Mr. Matthew Long Jr. of Cormody Music Inc. I'm telling y'all, he is the boom. The music is off the chain. You guys got to go support him, please. It's on iTunes, all those other store outlets you can get the music from. Go support my brother. Please support my brother. 99 cent. Really? You can't do 99 cent? 99 cent. You can't even get an order of five, four piece nuggets from Wendy's for 99 cent. Why? Because when they add tax to it, it's a dollar seven. Boom. So I need everybody just help this brother go support him. And this is why it's very important. When they're seeing how much he's pushing, and he's independent. It's his own thing. This is his label. This is everything he's pushing himself. So when the big dogs see him and they see what he's doing and see how Chicago's behind him and how the world is behind him, then they'll be able to say, hey, we're going to put money into you to push more. It costs to push. Y'all know that. He's trying to get out there, and we're trying to help him. So my goal is to help my brother get out there. Cormody Music, this is the cover. Look at the cover. Come on. I want everybody to look at that cover real good. Look at it real good. I don't want y'all to say, I don't know. I didn't know what. You didn't know nothing. The devil is a lie. I'm trying to tell you right now. I mean, it's just, it's a beautiful song, and I need y'all to just really go support my brother. Just support him. Here, let's take a quick listen. Can you feel it? Love is in the air. Flowing everywhere. 
That's enough. That's all y'all need to know. Cause y'all be trying to record it. Y'all remember how we used to do when GCI had it on? You get to take the boom box and you just hit the you had the you had record already set and the pause button there. And when soon as they got off the commercial and your son came on, uh, if it was Key Sweat, why, why me, baby? You just go bam, hit it right then and there and put your son on. That's what y'all used to do. I ain't finna give you the opportunity to do that right now. I need everybody to go support my boy Matthew Long. Here it is again. Christmas romance, the single just dropped. It dropped um, Wednesday. It dropped Wednesday, right before Thanksgiving. And we're just so proud of him. I am extremely proud of him. And I just need my family. I need my people out here to go support him. He means a lot to me. Everybody knows I love Matt. And, that, and there's no shortcomings about how we feel about one another. I need everybody to support. Now, everybody that's online, throw some comments up so we can hear what you got to say. And hit people up and tell them to come to Chew Man Productions on YouTube or Facebook and tell them to come on. Hey, check out what we're saying uh, so they can put their comments up. Now, today, 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 I got Miss Tonil. Oh, look at her. Look at her, y'all. Tonil Jackson. Miss Tonil Jackson. She's an author, everyone. An author. She's also a um, visionary. And she, most importantly, she loves to help people. Help people get to the point where they need to get. You know, she actually she massages their shoulders and and do like this and everything. You say, what you talking about, you? Because it takes a lot to be an entrepreneur, and she helps the entrepreneurs get where they're going. So we're gonna have her come on in a few minutes. I'm just telling everybody, please tell everybody, tell your mama, tell your cousins, all of them. Oh, Pastor Robert Whitley, I love you. I love you. Rob, what's up, Bobby? Man, that, I'm let me tell everybody something. Short story. Bobby, let me tell you. Let me tell you. He taught me how to play drums, and I was getting good. But then we needed help at the organ at the church. But I love him. He's, oh, Bobby, I'm going to get you on here. We gonna, I'm going to get you on here. Watch. You next. I, I'm, I'm getting Bobby on here. He's a wonderful man of God. He's just a wonderful person, a wonderful human being. I love me some Robert Lewis Whitney Jr., a.k.a. Bobby, and then here's my boy Johnny, big dog Johnny Will Adams from our church. Love you, Johnny. Thank you for supporting. I see everybody. So we're gonna talk to Miss Jackson right now. Uh, I'm gonna bring her on right after this quick commercial. You know, and then I said Friday I was gonna rap for y'all. Mm -hmm. Got my rap together. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We'll be right back. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, yeah, check it out, check it out. I I'm so hyped today. I'm telling y'all, it's on. I'm excited. We got to do what we got to do. We got to love it all day, all night. Hey, everybody, share this link. I don't care what you do. Share it. Share it out to people. Let them see what we're doing. Chew Man Productions, again, like I said, we're going to be in two weeks in our studio. We'll have our studio up and running, and people will be able to run their shows from the studio. I'm doing this just to show you what Chew Man can, Productions can do. And also, I just like having fun and just acting crazy. But we will have we have our internet already installed. 
We're getting everything worked out with our green screens. Our studio two is just about ready. So we just have a few more tweaks to do. Two weeks, watch it. Two, two, and we will be in our studio. And I'll probably even take you a little tour on the studio if you're nice. But I need everybody to go ahead, pop it out there, tell people about it. Let's get going. Let's get cracking. Miss Tony. So What's up, too? Talk to <laughs> see? See, I'm telling you, uh, they ain't ready for me. She ain't ready for at me. At all. At all. She ain't it's ready for me. Good. I told the people, I said, I don't know what it's going to be, but I can tell you it won't be boring. So no, no. I am totally excited about this interview. What's up, man? I'm t I'm so excited about you. I'm so happy to have you. I count it an honor and a privilege. I would take my head off, but I didn't make it to the barber shop. So I just can't scare my audience. They'd be like, oh Lord, Lord, put the hat back on. Don't start. Don't start. So oh my God, you a whole I movie. just want y'all to know this. I, she's just not a person I just picked up off the streets and nothing. Just say, hey, what's your name? Tonia. Okay, you want to come on the show? You know, because I ain't got nobody. No, no. This woman oh, God. is a author and i know everybody named mama writing books and everything and all this stuff and everything but she's won prizes for her books it's a couple <laughs> that's a couple Whatever. she won international prizes i'm so you could say if you won a national prize first of all most of y'all wrote books ain't won a block prize <laughs> or you haven't walked won a city prize Oh my God. Well, you haven't won a state prize. I can't stand you. Or a national. International means the world. I can't. <laughs> oh, I mean, we have someone that's phenomenal who's done it. And she's got 13 books. Look, I'm going to tell you, I did a horrible job. But I tried to get <laughs> all the books and, 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 and put them so I can, so y'all can see. So she's not a person that just like, yeah, I write. Yeah, it, yeah, that, that's what I do. No, she, that ain't her. She ain't, that ain't what she just do. She she's a right turn. She's phenomenal. And then she I had to get school what the indies was. She believes in helping the indies and she's gonna tell you about what the indies are. But I'm telling you, boy, indies. I thought she was talking about first of all from football, Indianapolis coach. And I was like, you need to get out of here because this bear territory right here. I thought she was talking about the bear Indianapolis coach, but she wasn't. And then indies also, I thought about the mountains, you know, what yeah. people were down in the movies because they go on planes and crash and everything. That's what I thought what Indies meant. But no, she broke it down to me and she has a phenomenal story of what she's doing. So, hey, everybody, pop in, leave comments. And for those who are getting this shared from other pages, this is at Chew Man Productions. C A H O O M A. Uh oh. N. Oh, my God. N. Oh, God. Q Man. Yeah. And then productions. Y'all know how to spell it. If you don't know how to spell production, you need to go back to school. Chew Man, C H O O M A N Productions. And you can catch us on um what, what are we at? Facebook? Facebook. Yeah, you can catch us on YouTube. Yeah, I had a brain freeze right quick. See, that's what happens when you drink hot chocolate and dip in your cookies before the show. I mean, that's what I do. Hot chocolate and chocolate chip cookies dip it. Mm, Lord have mercy. But anyway, Chew Man Productions on Facebook and YouTube. Come to those pages. The reason I said that, so I want you to write your comments in or questions you may have for Tonil and we can she can get them. Because if you write it on Tonil's page, I can't post it up. I'm just trying to tell you. Sorry. But um, please, come on over to Chew Man. I love the pub. I want the people that, whatever question they have for you, I want it. So again, it's C H O O M yeah, M a N. I got the other arm. Oh, Two man. I, I know I got that from. Y'all know Y M C A. That's y'all know. Only that crazy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, oh, yeah. So you wrote before we get started. Mm -hmm. I just have one quick question, and this is a serious question. Okay. How do you write thirteen? I can't give me some fingers. You need some fingers. books. How do you write 13? I mean, explain it to me. How 13 books? Explain how did you come up with concepts for 13 different books? First of all, were they all the same genre? No, no, I write across genres, so that's one thing. Okay. Um, 
First of all, I think it's important to note that I ain't just jumping this game. I done been in the literary game for a decade. So I've been here for 10 years. So my first book was published back in September of 2010. And that's the one that was the National Award winner. And then my fifth book. Oh, 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 oh. Your first book was the International Award winner? It was the National Award winner. My National, book. Your first mm-hmm. book was mm-hmm. the National Award winner. Mm-hmm. That was so you went out as a rookie, and then you won an award your first year. I did. I I'm, did. Through, I'm, through, I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> uh, hold on. I'm going to get up, y'all. She's going to tell you because she her first book she wrote, she got an award. Come on now. Yeah. That's, that's beautiful. That's amazing. Okay, finish telling your story. I'm going to be quiet. That's God, though. That was just the favor of God and rewarding, being rewarded for obedience. But um, and then like the fifth book was my international award winning author. Uh, my, my, my fifth book was my international award winning book. But in terms to answer your question, um, so I actually took off a couple of years. At one point, I was kind of averaging a book a year. But then, like, I started my publishing company. And so when you start publishing other people, and you know, because it's basically like with a production company, you kind of put yourself to the back so that you can help other people realize what they're doing. But the 13 books I've done have been across genre. I think I have, um, let me see, I have like three children's books. I, and those were all inspired by my daughters, obviously. Um, I have four beautiful daughters, 12, 14, 16, and 18. Um, and oh, then four? Four. I have four of them. Four. What's the numbers again? They are by, by December 10th. So next Thursday, she'll be 16. So they'll be 12, 14, 16, and 18. Wow. Yeah. And you in the house? Ooh, yeah, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah it's something else, right? So then I have like relationship books, I got communication books, I have a book on entrepreneurship, and then I have a few anthologies that I've written. So I've kind of touched bases on all types of books, um, all types of genres. And I felt that that was important because as you alluded to earlier, my real passion honestly isn't even writing. My real passion is being able to help people. And so what I found is that it's most effective is to help by like you teach by example right so it's like it's one thing for me to tell you how to write a book but if i've written books especially books that have gotten recognition because in addition to awards like chicago um cbs recognized me as being one of five indie authors and publishers to watch out for uh navy peer recognized me back i think there's like in 2013 or so but i mean i've had local national and international exposure which has been a blessing and the point is that I know that most indie or independent authors, that's not their story. And so for me, I like to be able to give back. I like to be able to teach them and kind of show them what I've done so that they know that it's possible for them too. Okay, so now let's stop right there so you can help everybody else because they smarter than me. My my crew is smart. You know, that's smart. <laughs> Brother man did not know what indies was. I told you. I thought you were talking about the Indianapolis coach, and I definitely wasn't about to let you on my show. Oh my you God. No, no, I, we ain't doing that. We are not. No, hey, Indy, the Indy Indy independent. Indy stands for independent. Okay, okay. So independent. What is an independent? It's just like with the music um, industry, right? Because you were talking about Matt earlier and how you pretty much are doing the project yourself. So another, you know, synonymous term is self-published. So in the literary world, if you don't say that you're an indie or independent author, you will say that you're self-published. So you put the project together yourself and there's two different ways you can do it. You can either pay somebody, which is kind of called vanity press publishing, where you pay somebody else to produce your project Or you can literally do it all yourself. So you're doing, you know, you're putting the publishing. Obviously, you're still going to pay for the other aspects. So like the editing, um, the probably formatting, cover design, graphic design, all of that. You pay, you outsource that. But in terms of putting it together and publishing it to the world is something that you've done yourself. So therefore, you don't have a label or what we call a publishing house in the music industry is a label. But like so there isn't a publishing house behind you who bankroll the project. You're doing it all yourself. Okay, I like that. Okay. I love that. So let's let's just let's take another step further since we're talking about this. Um, Take me through the steps of what it takes to publish a book. What we're going to talk about the book 
in a few minutes. But I want people to know because I like I know music. I know music. So I know mm-hmm. once you get that music and you say, I wrote a song song. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do that song. <laughs> you say you wrote that song, you be like, yeah, it's good, sound good. You got the music together, but see, the steps come in after that. So now you yeah. got the song wrote. So now, if you're not a musician, you got to go find somebody to put the music to it. But the way this is now, you don't even need talent. You just go get little trap stuff here and put some. Uh-huh. Stuff, and now you do it on computer, so you got your little beat together. You uh-huh. get the fingers. They sing in the studio. Once they get through with the singing, they think it's over. No, you got to go get it mixed and mastered so it's perfect. After that point, the real journey starts because if nobody backing you, you got to get the word out. Now, Instagram, that that helps out. So what is the process for someone who's writing a book? Because there's there's probably some people out here who wants to write books or have an idea of writing, but they need to know the process. And then we're going to talk about the book. Well, hold up. Let's go. Okay, so look, it's actually very similar to the music industry, right? So, okay, so like how you said you wrote your song, in the literary world, it's your manuscript. So whether you have written it in a notebook and shut up because you were talking about me for having my notebooks. So whether you wrote it in a notebook or you wrote it on a computer, just like the actual concept. You about that. You ain't supposed to tell nobody about that. <laughs> she, got, she, got, she got crusty notebooks that you open up. You gotta open barely because if you open it too fast, everything fall out. I'm Shut talking up. about. I'm talking Shut about. Up. I'm not exposed to the world. You are not exposing me because I've already told the whole world I am still old school when it comes to writing. I don't type anything until I finish writing it. So I just don't do that because let me tell you, there was one. I don't even remember the book because it's such a bad experience. There was one book that I was writing where I called myself. I'm gonna go new school, and I started typing. My computer crashed. I lost the entire manuscript, and I had to start all over. So after that experience. Experience, that was confirmation for me to stay old school and you write it down because guess what? The notebook will not crash. So even if something happened when I'm typing it, I got my original where I can go back to it and I don't have to worry about starting from scratch. So hush, leave me alone with my man, with my journals because yes, I still have them in all colors, shapes, sizes. I love journals. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's my little... Um, okay, anyway. Let's now, finish. after that sidebar when she... Yeah, after that total sidebar, but look. Speaking of the so, sidebar, tell us about how this okay. process go. Okay, so here's here what you need. After you finish doing your manuscript, some authors choose to do it in the middle of the process or at the end, which is to get an editor involved. And that is somebody that is going to take your manuscript and basically take it to the next level, right? So it's like, you got it. You think that it's good. Most authors think that their stuff is great. And the reality is that it's probably not at the beginning. You're going to need some extra help. And it's not just about the grammatical stuff, right? It's not just about subject verb um, agreement. It's not just about run on sentences, but a lot of times you need that developmental editor because your whole, your, your uh, manuscript has holes in it. Like you have gone real quick through the story and it's stuff that you didn't um, answer, right? You didn't address. And so a good editor is going to bring that to the forefront and they're basically just going to help to make your project Project, what it needs to be. What I normally, um, the analogy I normally use is to say like, you are, because this project is your baby, right? So you are the parent. Your editor is kind of like the godparent. So you two are coming together to do what's best for the baby. So you definitely need to incorporate an editor. You definitely have to get a graphic designer because like how you were saying, people just go and pull beats. Like technically speaking, um, depending on what platform you use, they may have generic covers that you can use of theirs. Um, But I typically talk a against that because then it's, it's not original, right? Like you'll be going around, if this is a template, a bank of templates, then that means that so many people are going to be walking around with the exact same cover. So if you want that original flair, then you need to get a graphic designer um, into your process so that way they can create something that looks original for you. So you're going to need that person. Um, and so, yeah, and some people even get a ghostwriter. So they don't, they may not know how to actually write 
for themselves, but they have concepts of what they want to write. So they'll pull somebody in to write it for them. So that's why I say like realistically, the music industry and the literary industry are a lot alike. But like what you said, you were like, once it's done, then you have to start promoting. One of the things I tell my authors all the time is while you're getting it ready, you need to start promoting. So like as an example, I have a set of four prayer devotional journals that are going to launch in January, but I already have them on pre-order now. Like I'm already starting to tell people about them now, especially when you are independent, you really have to start creating that buzz for yourself. Right. Um, and so you got to make sure that people know about it because it takes a long time to get that buzz going. So that's why I say we're really kind of similar, the two industries. Okay, I got you. Okay, you jumping ahead talking about your little your your your. your well, you know what I do? You told me to talk about what no, I no, 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 no. You just jump. I just asked you explain what the process. I ain't actually you what you had going on. <laughs> you trying to take over this conversation? Y'all see what you doing? Oh, she just trying to take over the devil. It. I'm just. It ain't even the devil. I, I don't even say the devil. Okay, say. The like we just we are gonna leave it alone. We're gonna leave I'm it alone. Leave it alone. Leave okay. It alone. Go ahead, you host. You host. I'm gonna just answer your question. Just, just sit on back. Just sit on back and relax. You just you just doing too much. You're doing too much. I'm just you know, what I do. You know, I can't you help. You make a way somehow. He gonna make a way somehow. <laughs> so we gonna let we gonna let Miss Tonil catch her breath. She gonna get a sip of. I'm hoping it's water in that bottle. <laughs> and, and um, cause I don't. She don't need to be no more active. Hello, is this microphone on? Hello, we don't. We'll need to be no more active. So oh we'll just let us catch our breath and we'll be right back. Give us like 30 seconds and we'll be right back. And tell everybody, he'll hit us up with comments and questions for Miss Tonil Jackson. She's a beautiful woman. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her, y'all. Look at her. Look at her. That is an author. That's the face and the glasses of an author. Come on. You can tell that's a real author right there. So come on, y'all. Hit me back. Come on back and give us some questions. Throw it to Miss Tennille Jackson. We will be right back. Hey everybody, that's one of that's that's my show, Divas Den. Divas Den. It's an awesome show ran by two beautiful young ladies. I'm telling you, Miss Vicky T and Yanni B. B stands for beautiful. I'm just telling you, they do an awesome job every third Saturday, right here on Chew Man Productions at 10 o'clock. Bam! AM. 10 o'clock a.m. I need y'all to check them out. You probably saying, who are you? Well, you know my name. I'm Chew. I'm Chew. That's all I do. Chew. That's how you spell it. Chew. And if you put M-A-N at the bottom of it, Chew Man Productions. Chew Man Productions. That's what we're doing. And Chew is here. And this show name is Let's Go. We are here. This show is developed to just get people to understand and support one another and get knowledge and get information. I had Cameron here. Uh, my brother Cam. Cam. Cam was here talking about life insurance. He did an awesome job developing. There go Cam, just popped up out of nowhere. Uh, Cam just developed and talked about life insurance. I went and saw him. I'm telling you, the man is real. And he began to give me information that I need to know about the different policies and everything. And I was making some decisions. And I didn't know 
I really didn't have the best that I needed. Sometimes we think about, I need a $400,000 policy. Hmm, maybe, but what are your plans for the future? And do you really need that much when you can take that money and do something else with it and still get $200,000? Mm -hmm. Especially if you're, if you're living in a house and your house is almost paid. So you really need to hit up my boy Cam. And um, when you get with him, I'm telling you, Cam will do good for you. I'm telling you, I tell everybody, he's not going to lie to you or anything. Cam is definitely, his name is Cam Cameron Bell. Uh, and that's the number right there to reach him, to get in contact with him. So you can uh, get your information from him and he will review your policy. And if you good, he going to leave you alone. But if you shaky, he's going to tell you where he's shaky. And he, if you jacked up, he's going to get you straight. So I'm telling you, please, please contact my boy, my boy Cameron Bell. I promise you, I will not lie to you. Everything will be all right. And don't forget, don't forget, Miss Jasmine Payton. Jasmine of Hartley Road Customs. I'm telling you, they do a phenomenal job. Look at me. Look at me. Look how I look. Look how I look. Look how I look. Look at my shirt. Y'all look at my shirt. She did it for me. She did it. Got me looking good. Got me looking good. So she got a little sale going on. I need y'all to support her. It's important. I need you to support Jasmine. Uh, uh, and if you want something custom, I mean, if you want something custom from Jasmine, here's her email. Email her. And she can put your company name on it. She on Your logo, if you get it to her, you just talk to her. Get the information to her, please. Jasmine does a wonderful job. Miss Jasmine Payton at Heartland Road Customs. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. You will be so satisfied. So now, back to what I was saying. I, I'm, I'm just trying to tell you I'm so excited. I am super excited about what's being done today. Um, <clears throat> I want you to know, oh, look at this. We got a ghost writer. Ms. Neil Jackson, she said, hello all, feel free to share the video, share this video, yes, share it, and if y'all are listening, tell your friends to come over to Chew Man Productions, and so they can put their comments up, the people who are here now, I want some questions, send Ms. Jackson some questions, so we can answer these questions for you, uh, and I'm going to bring her back on, Ms. Jackson, there we go, yes sir, I see on the back of the wall, Ms. Jackson, we don't get this. I just noticed that it says, if I'm not mistaken, inspirational talk with Tonio. That's what they say. It say Tonio, though, but you know, everybody always say Tonio, but yeah, it's inspirational talk with Tonio. Hold on, hold on. What I do, what I do wrong? What, what's up? <laughs> don't worry about it. You no, don't no, know what, what I wrong? It's Tonio. It's Tonio? Mm hmm. What I say, Tonio? Uh huh. Like your Tonio? Everybody does, though. Yeah, okay, that's right. There he go. The one and only everybody, Matthew Long Jr. Hey, Matt. Matt is the uh, wait a minute, Miss Tanil. Hold on one second. Just, <laughs> let me get this right in right quick. Everybody, this man has checked in. Please, Christmas romance. Go yes. pick it up. It's the bomb. I'm telling you. Yeah, let me show y'all what I'm let me tell you, show you what I'm talking about. Y'all remember the blue light special? Y'all used to basically, you know them basement parties and everything i'm telling you that song is like that it just has you going oh geez loud and it's a clean romantic yeah, it's an awesome romantic. song it is true um, it's and that's, that's what i said last week it's like it's romantic yet classy so it's not like this trashy mess and you can't have your kids in there listening to it it's an it's a real smooth song absolutely it's a beautiful song i need everyone 99 cent Please go pick it up on YouTube. Go pick it up. I mean, Apple, I mean. Is that Apple, Apple, Pandora, Spotify, hit them up. 99 cent. 99 cent. Yeah, man, you laughing. You laughing at me, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Hold on. Y'all think I'm joking? I, I hit y'all up once with just a little quick sample, but I want y'all just hear. Just hear how you listen to this groove and you don't tell me you don't think about um, <laughs> being in the basement at, when, when I'm gonna go right in the middle. Hold on, you don't tell me this is that basement music. <laughs> See, y'all don't tell me. Y'all can't tell me that 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 don't that don't 
Come it's on. It's that real good music. It feels real, good. It's real classy music. Yeah. And this is the thing, like we said, it's not trashy music. Just like her books. They're not trash. She ain't Zell. Or is it uh-huh. Zane? Zell? Zane. Yeah, yeah. Zane. She ain't running. Tra- we walking. We're talking about classy music, yeah. classy books. And I'm tired of all this garbage that's going out. Hip hop and, and rap and all. And then even the songs. They not doing what they, you're welcome, Matt. You are so welcome. They're not doing what they're supposed to do to uplift people. Any, first of all, any music out there that ain't quote unquote a gospel song is circular music. Mm-hmm. True, true. Any music that ain't in the classical range is a different type of music. It's circular right. music. Mm-hmm. So we have to get past that stigma. We have to let the music flow and let the books. We have artists here and we have some beautiful artists in here, this Chicago, the mm-hmm. West Side, the South Side. Mm-hmm. I don't know about North Side. No, I'm just joking. North Side. <laughs> and then we got <laughs> all the way up north in the North Suburbs, the South Suburbs, the West Suburbs. We got them everywhere. And we have to support one another. Absolutely. My big brother, Robert, has a question for you, Tonil. I'm listening. Here you go. When writing a book, is it best to write from your own experiences or should you keep your personal experiences out? Well, um, Robert, I would say it depends on what it is. So typically, if it is a memoir, then you definitely want to include your experiences and the way that you can do it. So say if you have a problem with it or you think that somebody else may, then you can do it as we call it narrative fiction, meaning that you write your experiences as a general foundation, but you can kind of exaggerate the names or the actual events to kind of, you know, protect the innocent, so to speak. If you're doing self-help in general, so whether it is communication, relationship, raising kids, whatever, then it always to me is best to include your personal experiences. So that way, again, you're proving to your readers that you know firsthand. So it's not just that I'm telling you, but I'm able to tell you because of what I've done. All right, Bobby, I hope that answered the question because, you know, if I'd have answered it, I'd have said, no, man, don't let them know you're writing about you. Let somebody be after you. No, but that's that's a great answer. I, I, that, and it does depend. It's so many different genres. It is. When it just comes to writing, it. I just actually looked at it. It was just like, wow, there's so many different genres. What do you find? How do you know? Do you just say, I'm going to write a fiction? Or, or do you just put stuff out and then you let it go? How do you do it? Well, it depends. So like at its core, like you really have two main genres, right? So you either have fiction, meaning it's fake or um, nonfiction, meaning it's real. And then from there, you have all your various subcategories. So like, you know, with nonfiction, if you want to have like memoirs, autobiographies, biographies, so stuff like that, that will fall under nonfiction, even inspirational poetry, all of those things, as long as it's real, it will fall under nonfiction. And then fiction, that's where you get like your paranormal, horror, sci-fi, all of that stuff, right? So it really depends on what your story is, what is it that you want to write about? And most writers, they kind of sit down and they already have an idea of what they want to write. So in other words, they'll know, oh, I want to talk about my life story. So if you're doing that, then that's a memoir, which means it's nonfiction, right? Um, but if you are just like that creative mind and you want to sit down and you want to kind of be the next J.K. Rowling, the one who did the Harry Potter series, then you kind of just let your mind roll and it's fiction. But most of the time when what I tell people is kind of have an idea before you sit down what it is you want to write about first, and then you can develop your thoughts from there. Okay, I feel you on that. And I need a writer. I have some thoughts, but I hate writing. Oh. English was horrible. That was my worst subject. And ink, no, I take it back history, but English and history always write hand in hand. I was a science and math brother. Matt okay. just said some true transparency can be beneficial. To the con- to connect with the audience, but you yeah. wisdom with that, and that's Absolutely. that's that's coming from the prophet right there. I'm trying to tell prophet of the keyboard. I'm mean, and that and that is so true. Transparency is key. It does it connect with your audience, uh, but you have to be careful with it. So let's deal with this. You like helping the, the indies and ind- the independent writers, um, and you have an organization. Uh, describe t- tell us about your organization. Okay, so 
Um, it is officially called Artist Promoting Success. Hold it though. Hold it though. I'm sorry. I jumped ahead. I jumped ahead. Okay. I just saw. I need to do something else. Back that up. Okay. Bam. All right. Bam. Everybody. Everybody. Look at yeah. this. Look at this. She has her devotion. See, she does some Christian gospel things too. Praise the Lord, saints. Pray. <laughs> All right. Two, can I tell them about this while we have it up here? Go ahead, tell them about it. I'm going to leave it up while you talk so they can see. Yeah, so like these are my new babies, right? Because so I did release some books this year, but they were like anthologies. But these are journals that are going to be really helpful. I kind of there's kind of um, a curriculum, if you will, that I, I within myself create and it's called paces, which is practical application of Christianity in everyday situations, right? And so because a lot of times people get religiousness mixed up with living right. And so living right isn't about how many times you go to church, but I'm going to leave that alone because I don't want people to tune off your show. But so with these journals, like what they're going to do, they are 13 week devotionals. So they are purpose to help you increase and improve in your prayer life. And so from now, even through tomorrow, which is Cyber Monday, if you pre-order these journals so you can get all four of them for only $25, then there's also going to be a 25% discount. I'll be promoting the uh, classes next week. But what it is is what I kind of deem as life classes, right? So there are a lot of times when people don't prioritize prayer. And so these are going to be one hour classes once a week where within the journal, you're given a screen scripture for the week. And a lot of times people actually don't know the word. You'd be surprised how many people come to church, but they really don't know what the Bible means. I mean, obviously you should have teachers in the church that's teaching it, but a lot of people don't necessarily know how to apply that word to their everyday life. So the purpose of these classes is going to be twofold. Number one is going to help you to understand the scripture as it pertains to your life, how you can use like work the word in your life, but then two is going to teach. It'll be a time for you to pray. So they're going to run together. So anybody who wants those classes, if they pre-order the journals, they'll also get a twenty-five percent discount off of the uh, the corresponding classes. So y'all see them right there. It's praying peace, praying per oh praying peace over my life, purpose for my life problems out of my life and prosperity in my life. So you got January 4th to March 29th is a 13th week course yep. where you'll be talking about peace over my life. Then yep. purpose for my life is April 5th through June 28th. And then problems out of my life is July 5th through September 27th. And then prosperity into my life, October 4th through December 27th. Yep. These are all Mondays and there will be three different um, times where they can do it. So that way we can kind of eliminate those excuses. So it'll be a morning or a noon or evening session um, that they can do. And so these are all Mondays because I want to for people to start their weeks off right. Like we know that technically Sunday is the first day of the week, but most people look at their work day as being Monday. So that starts their day off so we can get it started off right with prayer. Okay, I love that idea. I love that idea. And you know what? Shoe Man Productions is gonna help you. We we really can help you. Uh oh, that go my girl Kay Dixon. She said Kay. Uh, Kay is a writer herself. Uh, she does plays. She does books. She's the one I was telling you. Hey y'all, between Miss Tanil and Kay, they probably got pounds <laughs> this high of books that they didn't wrote in, and each book got like. One 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 story in it. That's all it is. It's just scribble all over. We couldn't make it out, but they know what they took talking about because they writers. That part, that part, that's all that matters. As long as we know, that's all that matters. I'm telling you, she's so old school, just like you. She said, I refuse to put it on the computer. I, I carry all my stuff. I'm not my all. All. Look, you won't lose it. You won't lose it at all. It's called the cloud. Put it in the cloud. <laughs> Like taking all them books everywhere. I don't, I don't trust it. I don't trust oh, it. Oh, Matthew said K sings as well. I forget K can sing. Woo! K sings also. Look, y'all gonna mess around. Two Man Productions gonna put a stage play together, and we're gonna have Corbity Music do the music and the score and everything. And we're gonna have K and Miss um, Tanil write it up, 
and I'm gonna be singing the first verse. Wait, 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 wait. We was all good till you got to the part that you was gonna be singing for. We we okay. All right, that's fine. Let's bring Kelly on this show again. And as yeah. that said, you know, because <laughs> obviously she doesn't want to be on my show no more. <laughs> Talk about my singing. I, I, I control the board, y'all. So check. It out. Bam. Problem <laughs> is no seriously, seriously. I really want everybody to really look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Just look how it's mapped out. So every week. You will be dealing with something responding to prayer. Prayer over my life for the first 13 weeks. Woo! Purpose for my life. You're praying for this. It's not you getting information. You're praying so God can give you this information. Absolutely. It's so important that we get this information. I'm so excited for her. Please, you go the information right there. Cast app right up there. Zelle PayPal is right up there. Y'all take a moment. Write it down. Write it down. I got some comments that popped up. It's probably some people talk. I'm sure it's Matt and Kate talking about my vocals and stuff. See, y'all, they don't really love me. They really don't love me because they talk about me. But th that's okay. God's going to deliver them somehow, some way. Uh, but let's get these. Get this uh, set. She said $25 for four. For four, yep. For four. Yeah. Can somebody say four? Four. I mean, I don't know why she said $25. She should have said $40, $10 each. It will be 40. <laughs> no, it will be. She's trying to get y'all to do the, the, the hookup. Now, listen, let me go back to me. Let me go back to me. I talked about this with Matt and everybody else. So let me just get off my soapbox right now. Let's support one another. Everybody, it's $25 for four books mm -hmm. or manuals that's going 13 weeks. Stop being cheesy and cheap. Let's support one another. Everybody, go ahead. When I get off here, I'm going to bam, hit her up, get my money in for it so she can send me my books so I can be on there Monday because I need some prayer in my life. <laughs> Four for 25. Get it now. Get it now before Monday. After Monday, you said, she said, uh, we're going, am I correct? Monday, it go up to 40? Yep. Yep. So, so you it's and I need for people to understand it's two different costs. So the $25 is to get your, you are pre-ordering the four journals. They will drop at the top of the year, the top of 2021. And then you're going to get 25% off of the cost of the 13 week classes. So $25 for a 25% discount as of Tuesday, then yeah, they're going to be $40 um, for the four journals, but you will get a free ebook as a gift. So yeah, I have Ooh. a ebook that I'm working on too that's called praising through the pandemic so that'll be the free ebook that they get and it's so you still really can't beat it for <laughs> praising girl i'm trying to tell you i'm so neil is hooking us up hold on let's get some of these comments of people they they, they coming in uh let's see uh let's see let's see Miss <laughs> k said she sings thank you very much and she laughed when i talked about me singing that is so so bad boy i'm telling you Oh, no, oh, man, I'm just, I'm not going to even say the rest of the stuff she said about me. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. That's, that's all I'm saying. And she loves the idea of us doing a stage play. So um, we're going to get this going. We're going to get it going. Kay, you got it? Oh, you got it. Okay, you got it, Kay. We're going to get this going. I, I want to know, uh, and many other people want to know also about this. When you're writing and you're doing this devotional, let's do the devotional series. Okay. Did you have to dig deep or did God just drop it all into you and gave you places to go or did he just lay it all out for you? Yeah, no, it took me, first of all, we have, these were actually done two years ago. I'm just getting around to publishing them. But in the process, when I did do them, it took me about a year and a half to finish because it wasn't just as simple as, Let's let's Google every scripture on peace. It wasn't like that, you know, and just even like the format for it and the formula that we use. It was something where I want to make sure because one of the things I don't play around with, I don't play around with prayer and I don't play around with people's lives. And so it's like when people are looking to you to pray for them, like I am not one who believes on allowing everybody to lay their hands on me. I don't believe in that. And so for me, if somebody trusts you to pray with them or pray for them, then that's serious business, you know. And so, yeah. 
Yeah, it was definitely uh, scriptures that I were I was led to. And so I'm just believing that when people are reading these journals and it's an interactive journal. Um, so that way they're going to be able to is that something that will resonate with them. That is my prayer. OK, I feel you on that. I ain't mad at you. I'm glad you said that. I'm so I'm just so hyped about this because I mean, just like I love it. Let me get, give you one more time. Everybody I'm give you a chance. Go ahead. Get the information. Twenty five dollars tomorrow night to get these four. I'm gonna give you some music so you can get it. Uh, uh. Write it down. The cash app, the Zelle. Come on. Uh. Uh. Yeah. So you'll be doing peace over my life for the first 13 weeks, the yep. purpose for my life, the next 13 weeks, problems out of my life. Oh, I really need that. July through September. You know, that's a good time to have the problems out of my life. That's summertime. That's yep. better than people that you don't want in your life. So and then prosperity in my life. Yes, because you need prosperity because Christmas coming up. Come and on. You need, uh, Close we need, to, we need Close. to be all we can be. So yep. now let's talk about how you want to help the indies, the independent artists. Come on, tell me. Absolutely. So my organization is called Artists Promoting Success. So for the first, it was established back in 2013. And when I first came out, it was Authors Promoting Success. So at the top of last year, I actually expanded the brand to be called Artists Promoting Success because me personally, I'm an advocate for the arts period. So whether it's literary, visual, or performing arts, like I am somebody who's going to support you. And so like for me, the thing about it is helping people with exposure because across the board, so whether you are a singer, a musician, a filmmaker, a playwright, a poet, a author, like all of us need to, number one, be educated in the business of being an entrepreneur, right? Because a lot of times we'll create a product. So we know how to create the product, but then thereafter we're lost. We don't know anything about like the legalities. You don't know about copyrights or trade. Right. You don't know about business entities. You don't know about royalties. And so like what my, what my organization does is we kind of teach you the business of being an entrepreneur. We teach you about marketing and promoting motion and branding and all of that. So it doesn't matter. You don't just have to be an author. Like as long as you are an entrepreneur and especially independent, because it's going to work differently for you when you control all your own stuff than if you're signed by a label or a publishing house. And so um, that's why I kind of expanded the brand at the top of 2019 to include all artists and not just authors. That is what I'm talking. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. I'm, I'm so let me let me dust your shirt. Let's go. <laughs> I'm excited. And let, let me tell y'all something. After communicating with her and, and talking, um, and we've met, we've known of each other for a oh, while. Yeah. We have known of, of each other, but we actually met through my show on Friday with Matt. Mm -hmm. And uh, she kept popping up like, bam, I'm like, who is this lady popping up? I mean, who it is and and I just didn't know who it was and and then all of a sudden bam 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 and I was like okay all right cool cool that's good I, I like that I like that then I reached out to Matt said something about her and I said over there hit me up hit she me up. 18 at gmail.com yeah she hit me up and we talked and yesterday we talked and uh we got some things together and I'm telling y'all she is hilarious uh, y'all just see her like that. No, beautiful. You she is hilarious. I'm, tell I'm telling you, you wouldn't know if you just did. Baby, I'm just trying to tell you, you wouldn't have known it. But let me let me ask you this question. Artists promoting success. Mm -hmm. APS. Mm -hmm. You have a gala. Mm -hmm. How many years have your gala been going? This would have been the fourth year. So we still had. So, OK, let's explain what that is to everybody that's listening. Let's go. So at the top of the year, 
Um, so this started back in 2017. That was my that was my inaugural year. So from January 1st through April, I run a contest for independent authors. Right. So it's a book contest. They can submit their books. And unlike these other contests where you just it maybe your name is, is announced, maybe it's not with mine. Like there is a ceremony in August. So like January through April, the contest is running, which then does mean that January 1, which is coming up, the contest is going to open back up for 2021. So January through April, the contest is open. June, we announce the winners. And then August, we have our ceremony. And so like the first year that I did it, Bishop Moody was actually in attendance. He came and he kind of blessed me, sang my song, and he gave me some wonderful words. And we have had, and, and I think this is important for people to understand, this is for independent authors, which means like most people, especially a lot of people we know, they don't read. Celebration of authorship is not what it used to be. So we don't have mainstream authors. This is not mainstream talent. We're not selling people to, that seems to come on in to sell our tickets for us. This is celebrating the literary world of independent authors. And every year we've had at least 200 people to show up. And it's like, I call it like the the Emmys for the Indies, right? So you get to wear your evening gowns, your after five. And we've had people from all over. I mean, like I, last year, one of the winners was from Australia. We've had people come from Kentucky, from Ohio, from Wisconsin, from Georgia, from Delaware. Like they've literally come from all over the country for this event. And it is something that is near and dear to my heart. I am working on year five behind the scenes. And my plan it is going to be bananas. We are taking it to a whole nother level for next year. Yes, yes. I'm going to be a part of it, y'all. Yes, sir. I'm, be a part of, I'm not writing a thing, though. I'm not <laughs> writing a thing. Just so y'all know, I'm not writing nothing. Not at all. Not a thing. But we I'm going to be a part of it. We're going to leave you in your lane of expertise. That, that's all. Praise the Lord, saying. <laughs> that's all we're going to do. But I'm serious, everybody. Please check her out. Check her out. We're going to have information dropping about it. Oh, we have inspirational talk. Oh, yeah. Real. Yeah. We should Every probably. third Saturday. Saturday, starting in January. I'm every so third good. Saturday at 12 o'clock, right on Chew Man Productions. Yeah. So you'll be able to see her beautiful face and everything, and she'll be able to give you the laughter and everything. I'm going to be in the background. I'm telling y'all, she going to be, y'all going to have to forgive her because I'm going to have her cracking up. I'm telling you, I'm going to have a dad laughing. She's let, gonna... let me tell you something. Well, let me tell them something because you already know. So Chu is a whole fool, right? And he was saying, like, when you look at me, most people don't know because I wear so many hats, right? And when I go live, because I typically am live five days a week. And so I'm always like with a business hat. It's a different hat, but it's always a business hat. So most people who don't know me, like when the cameras are off, think that I'm like all serious all the time. You cannot talk to you for like three minutes and not just be laughing all the time. So I knew, and that's again why I say, I didn't know what this interview would be, but boring, I knew it would not be because you just keep people laughing all the time. So I am really, and again, I'm grateful to you, sir, for extending the opportunity, but I'm looking forward to it. I haven't done inspirational talk in an official capacity for a few years. And so this is really kind of in the vein of what I do. I love promoting other people. And so just being able to, because I already promote them this way, but through your channel is going to be different because now I get to go back to interviewing people. And that's one of my passions. I love it. I absolutely love it. And we're going to get it going. So everybody, we have two shows. We got we got Divas Den on Thursday, Saturday at 10 o'clock. And then at 12 o'clock, we're going to have an inspirational talk with, with Tanil. So we're going to have this rocking and rolling. Look, we're going to spell your name, T-A, with the ashtray. No, you are not changing my name. Oh, yes, you changing your name. Mind, T -A. You but no, my name is T-A, with the asterisk. You know, <laughs> and I'm going to have the asterisk. Of, you know how your kid, when you was a kid, they used to mush you. That's how I'm going to have A smash like this. So people know Tunil. That's how we're going to know this Tunil. But um, her gala, everybody, here's what we want. I want to tell everybody because I'm a part of this now. And we were talking. So Two Man Productions is um, 
You want to say it? What I'm my, my uh, capacity? You know, I'm, gonna you, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you full. I'm gonna give you the front stage because everybody think I be too my heart. Don't tell them what it is. What no, so we are forming kind of like an official partnership, right? And so um, I'll be on his channel with inspirational talk, and then he's going to be media ink. Can I make a new word? He's going to media ink for um, APS. And so, like, we're going to have a whole little new look for the gay look in terms of production. And he's just going to help me take it to the next level because, like, I have been wearing a whole lot of hats for a very long time. And I'm just grateful, you know, for his generosity for real, because as silly as he is, his heart is just as big. And so he's like, I see all the hats that you're wearing and you could really benefit from having a team. So, you know, we just had a really great powwow um, yesterday and we kind of figured out how we gonna dot all the I's and cross all the T's. And we finna bring it to y'all because one of the things that they say is when one eats, we all eat. Our mantra is we are better together. So regardless, this is what we do. We come together and we're going to help the people. So we got the same heart. So we're going to just team up and make it do what it do. We're going to make it do what it do. That gala next year, whether it's going to be COVID or not, I'm praying COVID. Be, I'm telling you, we're going to get rid of it one way or another. But yeah. if he happened to be sticking his little head around the corner like, like <laughs> that, we got something set for that. But yeah. if, it's, if, if we live full of the fact we gonna it's gonna the gala's gonna be all the same now we still want y'all to know support her please support go get them yeah go get them and can I say this real quick too, too, like under the APS umbrella. So it's not so very rarely, like I say, have I, I've been able to put my author hat back on um, this year. I was a, a part of a couple projects, but I also have a publishing company. So I am typically helping other people. One of my authors just dropped her book in October, Diana Fisher, um, Overcoming My Storms. And then I have another author out of Alabama. She just dropped, well, her poetry book will be dropping on December 16th. So it's like I help other people, whether it is as their hmm? yeah, poetry book. Yeah, she. she oh, hold on, I got I got two brothers, two brothers. My boy Johnny Adams, he do poetry like it ain't nothing. He be slamming my oh, boy. My boy Richard Hayes, look, my boy Richard Hayes, he got a book coming, a series of books he's putting together right now. I gotta. Oh. He, he's got- and this is and this is what I'm saying. Like a lot of people, they are sitting there and they don't know how to take it to the next level. And so whether you are at that beginning stage, because I serve as a coach, I'm an editor, I'm a ghostwriter. Um, I, I don't take on a lot of ghostwriting projects because my life is a little bit booked. But, you know, and then like as a publisher, but I am not the publisher where you just pay to do whatever. Like I'm walking you through it to help you develop your literary blueprint. Right. So we ain't just going to say we finna make a million dollars and you ain't finna work, you know, and, and again, like we discussed with the music industry, it's a lot of work that goes into it. So I don't ever lie to anybody and say it's going to be easy. It's not going to be easy, but it will be gratifying if you put in the work. So if there are authors that's watching, you can join my organization too, right? So um, I do have open membership every month. We do monthly meetings, network meetings. So you're not just learning from me, but there are other authors across the country. We do, obviously now we have to do it virtually, but we're helping you to learn better techniques to market, promote, and sell your products. So whether it is a song, whether it's a book, it doesn't matter if you are independent you do not have to struggle alone that's what we do with APS we team up with you to help you get your word the word out about your product that's right and and Felicia Hooker Sanders my cousin well one of the baddest missionaries hey, Felicia. she said yes Johnny and Rich are fire they are really good I got to put them in contact with you and it's Absolutely. like it's so much talent here and everybody does what they do and it's important that we get it out there for everyone to see yeah. like like I, I'm telling everybody again so let me just run this again everybody pay attention you got to midnight tomorrow yep. to get her f- four books for twenty five dollars Yep. This is going to be a 13 week course. They're going to be talking about stuff every week. Every Monday, she just said she's going to be talking about something for that week. And it's 13 weeks for peace over my life, January 4th through March 29th. Then we're going 
April 5th to June 28th with purpose for my life. Then we got problems out of my life from July 5th to September 27th. And then we got praying pros I mean, prosperity into my life. Praying prosperity into my life. I need to reread these titles the proper way. Praying peace over my life from June 4th, January 4th to March 29th. Praying prosper for my life, April 5th to June 28th. Praying problems out of my life, July 5th to September 27th. And praying prosperity into my life, October 4th through December 27th. It is important that we uh, do what we need to do. It is very important. Sister Felicia hit you back. To Neil, she hit you back. She said, hey. <laughs> you got people supporting you. I'm, that's what I'm talking about. I love the support. And, and let me tell you something. Uh, Sister Felicia is dominating her own rights. And uh, she has some things she has coming up up the woodworks and pipes. And you never know who has what and that's my all right. platform is to push it out and that's what Tanil's platform is well, that's why we're merging to get yeah. and push people out when she do classes for everybody that wants to write please that's what i do find out the classes and you learn how to do what you need to do and one more thing again let me just bump this one more time this is the season go get my brother seat song christmas romance please featuring Colin Haynes. I'm telling you, the man sounds like Luther. I thought Luther had came back to life when I was hearing his song. Please, Christmas Romance. Matthew did a great job in producing Absolutely. it and writing. He wrote it. He did the music, laid the foundation. He got professional musicians to lay the work on it. And then he produced it. And the singers were phenomenal. Um, background vocals. Oh, my God. My sister Kim just laid them background vocals. Please go support my brother Matt. And then support Tanil and her books. You got till to midnight. I'm going to put it back up. Y'all see that? You see that? Okay. And then don't forget Jasmine. Jasmine Payton. Hartley, Hartley Road Customs. Please. You got a sale going on. I keep telling y'all. That's what we're about. We support one another. That's it. We support one another. Hey, yeah, let me tell y'all something. Let me put this back up. Felicia, she got she listened to the song. She said the song is amazing. It's a beautiful song. It really is. And it's gonna touch your heart. And it's very important that we are um love lovers of, and supporters of one another. Absolutely. We are ASAP.com. That's the website for A APS. Hey, where I get ASAP? That's I think that's what you're on your mind. You're trying yeah. to go. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. We are APS. <laughs> Ooh, Lord Jesus, help me keep me near the cross today. I'm just saying. And and APS stands for Artists Promoting Success. She's out here trying to do things to help support one another. So we got Brother Matt right now who got his single. She has her uh, books, her prayer uh, books. There's 13 weeks each. You need to get that. That's $25. Matt single is 99 cent, cheaper than a uh, 99 cent um, um, chicken anyway, nugget. Because everything got tax. It ain't That's even no right. tax. 99 cent. Customs. Harley Customs. Let's go. Y'all need some stuff. You need some t-shirts. She just did me a hoodie, y'all. She did my mask. Bam. I know y'all saying she, your stuff gloss like that. That's because I'm fly. I'm so fly. <laughs> No, it's just the way my cameras are looking. Don't I ain't wearing no bling, brother. Ain't wearing no bling. That's what we're gonna okay. keep it like that. We are APS.com. Please. Now I have some other people that I'm gonna have come on the show because December we're gonna be loving and do all this stuff, and we're going Christmas shopping and everything. But you know what? This is what you're gonna do for everybody, and I want everybody to pay attention. The Sunday before Christmas. No, December 26th. No, 27th. The Sunday after Christmas. No, you're going to need time. The Sunday before Christmas, because you didn't get all your stuff and everything. I'm going to bring some financial planners, some great minds, so they can help you to prepare a budget for the following year. Because we want to be declared 2021, we come out of debt. When you in, yeah. when you in 2021, there's two debts you probably should have. Your house, which mm -hmm. underneath incorporates gas, light, water, taxes. So that's your house. And your automobile. 
Mm-hmm. And we're going to work to get that paid. But everything else, we want to get those credit cards paid down. Yeah, we want to get those student loans paid off. Right. And we want to be able to support that and then find out what we can do to really um, maximize our dollars and have our dollars work for us. I'm also going to bring some people on to talk about the stock market, because if you're like me, you really don't know a lot about the stock market. But I'm going to bring some people on who can show us. I got this technology. We're going to pull up the stock market so you can see why it's on the screen, split it in half. They're going to tell you what it's about, how to work it and everything. And we're going to learn is I want you to be look. I told the story and I'm going to say it again so I'm blue in the face. I went to a seminar where they was showing you how to flip houses. And I don't remember if it was a white, a a Caucasian, or an Asian man. Next to me, he had his two sons. They couldn't be no more than 11 years old. Mm -hmm. Like 10, 11, or Mm -hmm. 8, 9, something like that. And they they weren't playing around. They were taking notes. And I was looking. They were taking notes serious notes while the presenters were talking. And what that showed me was this father was investing in his children, getting them in the mind process, thought process, hey, you can be an entrepreneur. So what I want to tell you guys is uh, some of you, you probably saying, I don't want to deal with headaches of certain things. Well, we want to bring different avenues because you need multiple streams of income. You need your job. You need two, at least two more of the streams of income. So if you can do investment in flipping houses, We'll get that going. If you can't, get into the stock market. Take a little and just fi- buy little things and, and watch it ride. Even if you buy something, let me tell y'all something. Everybody that invested in technology before this pandemic hit, everybody who had a piece of Amazon mm-hmm. before the pandemic hit mm-hmm. is making a killing now. Mm-hmm making a real killer. So we just want to tell you that you can do it and you can make it. And we want to give you avenues and streams. And I want to bring that. So everybody, every Sunday night, 6 p.m., that's what we're going to be doing. And like I said, Matt's information, this will, look at that, Tania, she's on it. She ain't even promoting herself. She's talking about Matt now. What I do. This is what we do. This is what the, oh, 99 oh. cents. Because you know what, you and let me say this, what people, they get twisted all the time is they feel like they're losing out when they promote somebody else. And what if if you don't get nothing else that me or you have said, understand, literally, we are better together. Like I said the other day, I posted so many people, they miss it because they're mad that it's not them. But if you celebrate other people, then it soon will be you. So you have to learn, like, I am so happy when my friends are winning. And it's like, so for me, that's one of the reasons why I do what I do. So once I knew about Matthew's thing, absolutely, I'm going to push it. I'm going to promote it just like it was my own. And that's how I do for all of my authors. Anybody I'm connected to is like, let's push because it's enough out here for us all to eat. We ain't got to be jealous and competing with each other, but let's be comfortable enough where we can push other people. So yeah, y'all go Christmas Romance. Me and you both are endorsing it. Two thumbs up. It's an awesome song. Go and get it. It is only 99 cents and it's probably going to be one of the best investments that you make. And look, let me tell you something. We're trying to get him on the radio. Absolutely. So so y'all call these radio stations and say GCI and all of them say Christmas Romance. When they start getting ready, because now is that Thanksgiving. You finna hear I do not want to hear Let It Slow because I don't want no something old in Chicago. <laughs> but that boy's the man's son going to pop up. We're going to hear, I'm dreaming of a wife. And all the Christmas songs. I need y'all to get on there and blow their line and say, in a rotation. Absolutely. That's, right. you know, that's another thing. We do a lot of lip service, but it's like, when is what can I do? This is what you can do. Get him in, get him in rotation. So, I mean, it's like it makes no sense for you to know him if you're not going to support him. And we got other Chicago artists like we were talking about, but it makes no sense that they have to go outside of their city because authors have to do the same thing. It makes no sense to leave your city in order to be celebrated instead of starting right here and building our own up right here. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we're talking about, y'all. We finna get out of here. Thank you, Tanil. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, sir. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to tell. let me holler at the mic for you. Yeah. You did an awesome job. Everybody, we Thank we tell you. the truth. Support. We're gonna support. Tanil has her books. I want y'all to 
Jump on this, man. Jump on it now. I'm going to put it back up on the screen. But Matt's project is 99 cent. Let's get them in rotation. I know y'all probably don't even listen to the radio. If you're like me, you listen to Sirius XM. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start emailing them. I'm going to start sending them links in you from the YouTube saying, hey, we want to hear this. We want to hear this. They're going to be like, who is this shoe guy? They're going to get tired of me. But if enough of you guys keep sending emails and some, all we need is one radio station to say, let's see what it's about. Even if they got a new artist segment. Yeah. One station just put it on. I guarantee the way it's put together, the music, once one station get it on, mm -hmm. they're going to like it. And Not then enough. other stations going to copycat because yeah. they don't want to be left out. Yeah. They gonna be, they want to be less. And now he's on the air and he's doing his thing. So we're going to put your information right now, right there. That's for Matt. Come on now. Come on. Don't, don't be scared. Don't do anything. Don't be whatever you want to call it. That's Matt. Come on. Let's get him going. And then Tanil has hers. We are APS, that is Artist Promoting Success. Mm -hmm. She wants to help you if you're a writer, especially writers. She has a lot of things for the writers. Yeah. So please, please do what you got to do to um, support Tanil and get some help, y'all writers. I'm not a writer, so I don't need a help. I ain't, I ain't writing nothing. But I'm going to have her laughing. You know, I might, I'm telling you, that her show going to be. And Inspirational Talk with Tanil is going to be every third Saturday at 12 o'clock, right after Divas Den, which is every third Saturday at 10 o'clock on Chew Man Productions on Facebook and YouTube, so you can catch us all the time. And then I need everybody, go on and do what you're supposed to do. I need y'all to get that information, get her books. Get her books. Do not think about it. Do not pass go. Do not do anything else. I need you to get her books. Get her books. It's very important that y'all get the books and get them. Get them before 12 o'clock tomorrow. Thank you, Tanil. It's been such an honor. And Thank you, sir, for having me on. I appreciate you. <laughs> so, you know, it's, just so, it's just so wonderful to have you on. Don't go nowhere. Hold on. Oh. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. I know it's uh, 717, went a little longer today, but we had a special artist, um, and God is just really doing it. Next week, get everybody. Tell them we're going to be here next week, 6 o'clock. We're going to have some more people popping in. Tanil might pop back, back up. Matt might be here. You never know. I'm going to get the flyer out no later than Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, and then I'm going to ask you guys to help push it and promote it. So at 6 o'clock, jump on the computer. Jump on your phones, jump on your iPads, jump on your tablets, and let's get it going. I'm going to throw some music on for y'all, and I want you to uh, just go ahead and get the information again for the prayer books. Get these prayer books. Praying peace over my life. Praying purpose for my life. Praying problems out of my life. Praying prosperity into my life. Go ahead, y'all. Order it now. I want to. She better tell me her cash app is blowing up, or her Zelle is blowing up. So I need everybody. Go ahead, please, please do what you got to do, but get these books so we can start the year off right. All right, everybody, this is me, Chew. I'm out of here. Let's go. Thank you for being here. Be safe out there. Wear your mask. Bam, got my mask. If you're going in a bad area, you know what? Wear two masks. It's better safe than sorry. Keep your hands clean, sanitized. But beyond all that, take God with you wherever you go. Put some blessed oil right there on your head. Put it on your hands. Anoint your car and just go and God plead the blood of Jesus over your life as you go back and forth. Have a wonderful night, a wonderful blessed week. Holla at you next Sunday at six o'clock. Let's do it.